We're talking about keep the nostril weird. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Imagine. Go ahead. Uh, maybe we should switch spots. You want to switch? Yeah. Sure. This is fully done on the spot. I started preparing 10 minutes ago. Oh, I'm not as tall as you are. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see what's going to go happen. All right. Thank you so much, Luxembourg. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A little bit weird. Close, stay close to it. Okay. Hey, it's keeps keep Nostra weird. Okay. <laughs> Imagine um, arriving at Nostrasia and having just one t shirt to pick from. Now, that's usually what we see at conferences. And uh, imagine also that for some reason it was a one size fits all and somehow it was the wrong fit for you because one size fits all don't really fit everyone. We're all quite unique. Um, Nostar is about choice, which means we kind of get rid of that one t-shirt factor. And unlike many platforms where we're locked into a specific way of working and we cannot choose anything that's different. In Nostar, you own your own keys, which is pretty awesome, I think. Um, <laughs> and those keys allow you to enter the entire Nostar universe, a universe of different products and apps that I keep growing every day. So which door can you enter with those keys? Um, basically any door, uh, any product that's built on the Nostar protocol, you can enter it with your own keys. And the funky thing about this is that not only do you enter the entire Nostar universe, but you keep your follows, your followers, your posts, and anything else that you have whenever you switch between products, uh, which is not something that happens in other places. But so when it comes to all of this, <laughs> Yeah, um, not all the shirts fit everybody. It's, and, but what there's, is there to do really? So, you make up creating your own shirt. What shirt fits you? And we have the, all the tools necessary to do that. And we have an important question. What makes you weird? I think this is something that Nasser has truly em embraced calling each of us plebs. We're just regular blokes hanging out, having fun, so. And doing what we do best and not shying away from that. And the question about what do you care deeply about? Seeing a lot of people talk about conspiracies, talk about, talk about development, and not shying away and being like afraid to talk about it, what they truly care about. It's about in, choice. In, yeah. And, and in my case in particular, uh, while I was uh, working on the design for things at Nostrasia, it wasn't just about having a t-shirt, like keeping the Nostra weird. I like that one. Uh, it's one of my favorites. But it was about giving people a choice. So this wasn't a product, but in a way, it, it uh, embraced the same concept. So you arrived at Nostrasia and you could pick a t-shirt from three different choices. And that's what Nostar reflects. Um, so you could pick the cat or the alien or the rabbit. Um, what do you like to do? Yeah, so <laughs> this is something that I've discovered mostly about myself through Nostra usage is trying to understand what I, am I about, what kind of topics do I care to talk about, and what kind of people I tend to more talk to. And for me, it's been overall seeing how the user behavior is, not to get too in, into the details, but uh, yeah, this is what I've found and learned about myself, and that makes me weird caring about a specific topic much more than many other topics, so yeah. And I think whenever you find your talent, then you can make stronger choices as far as where you move forward. I like to tell stories. So, and not stories as standing here and telling you a story, but though that's part of it. But tell a story through design. And so if we look back at Nostrica, and I know many of you um, were able to be there with us, 
There was a, a talk uh, on the women's panel where Carla mentioned that zapping was important because anyone who generated content could be zapped and could earn something for their content. And in her case, she mentioned that uh, you could get zapped for posting pictures of your feet, um, which made quite a, quite a statement and it grew in the community and then now there's footster. And it's a representation of the importance of being able to earn zaps for your content. And so it's in the t-shirt too. And this is not a talk really about telling you how to do UX or UI or what colors to pick, but more of giving you an idea of why you do things. And, in, and once you know, go deeper into that, then you can make those choices based on kind of a sort of protocol, uh, <laughs> protocol for design. Absolutely. And it's, it's also about what do you value, really. It's, in terms of, if you look at clients, if you look at how you use something, do you like everything, everywhere, all at once? Do you enjoy amethyst kind of an approach? Do you enjoy more of a, do you enjoy algorithms? Do you enjoy primal? Do you, do you wanna do something completely different? And that's something that you have completely open for yourself. You can decide that. And how do you add meaning to all of this? If we look at the process of designing for Nostrasia and thinking of Japan, I had started designing kawaii characters and I thought they would be the five different elements and that it would be make it fun and interesting and it fit the culture. And then I came across a different story. And so instead of seeing banners that look like this, you're looking at the banners out there. Um, so it's about, and I'll tell you a little bit about those banners, but it's about adapting your story to what holds most meaning to you. Because when I read the story, I had to place it into the banners instead of the characters. I read about the thousand cranes. And if you don't know about this, there's, a, there's an ancient le legend in Japan that talks about a thousand cranes being, bringing you long life and good fortune. But uh, during World War II, there was a young girl called Sadako who um, unfortunately was in Hiroshima at the time. And um, she received a lot of radiation poisoning. And she started making a thousand cranes and she passed away before she could finish that. So her classmates finished up the thousand cranes. And somehow this struck a chord with me because we we're seeing stories about war and we're seeing uh, conflict across the globe. And somehow I think that Noster or Freedom Tech, like Noster and Bitcoin, are more focused on peace. And they allow for, um, for you to have your own keys, to choose your own products, to empower the individual, to focus outside of those things that control you and that create conflict. So I wanted to include that in the posters and that made it in. And if you count the cranes, don't do it, it takes too long. <laughs> but there's 1,000 cranes in those banners in total. Um, so the, it made it in, and I think it reminds us of what's important. And whatever matters to us, we have to bring it into what we built. In this case, it was the banners out there. And it's not about the shiny new feature, <laughs> features, right, Tano? Absolutely true. OK. It's more of why we choose to build them. Why do you choose to build what you build? Yeah, exactly. I think it's, it's a deeper meaning to it. Instead of like, why did I build this feature? It's like, what does it provide? What is it, what, um, what am I building for the next generation? And like the deeper meaning behind it, just like, it's not that it looks cool. It's because it provides value, because it provides meaning. That's why you build stuff. So if you want to keep Nostr weird, you have to figure out what's your why. And that'll make it easier to make the choices. Yeah, and at the end, you just need to embrace your weirdness and find a way to apply it. And I think that's on Nostr. <laughs>